a visual on your screen coming to you of the kind of destruction that has been caused by this massive scale flooding in fact we are now getting reports that certain bridges on the jamutavi river have also been eroded uh, visuals that you can see water is really gushing through that bridge almost falling apart over there which is one of the main issues essentially as far as uh, getting relief across to people is concerned because there are no land links in several areas they either rescue has to either be uh, done through aircrafts uh, and in fact, we do have Pradeep now back on the phone line with us. Yes, Pradeep, take us through uh, the details that are now emerging. We can see those visuals, how the water is gushing forward. We understand that several bridges are now collapsing. Pradeep, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Pradeep, uh, we I have been telling you that uh, during the last four or five days, we have seen that the, because of the flash flood as well as the landslide, a lot of infrastructure has been damaged. You, the visual which you are seeing is of one of the Tavi bridge that was damaged just two, three days back. Its alignment was completely uh, destroyed by the uh, Tavi river that was that day moving like a stormy sea. And in today morning also we got the input that one more bridge has been washed away by the flash floods in, uh, which is which has been connecting the port with the Ramla port and this has been uh, the crucial bridge that was connecting the divided tolls across the line of from both sides of the line of control because of which even the um, border trade has been affected. So there are several bridges uh, that have been uh, damaged because of the flash floods during the last four or five days as we have seen that they in initially there was consequently for five days there was a rainfall. But now the weather condition is, has improved and the water level has started receding. And with the receding of the water level, the magnitude of the horror and also the problem that have been uh, faced by the people is also getting obvious. Uh, so uh, we are seeing that the place where right now I am here also the land, um, uh, because of the landslide, the road was totally washed away. Jammu Srinagar National Highway is totally uh, closed and the traffic has come to the staging hall. This has been the arterial route that has been connecting one right. part of the uh, region with the other. Right now, the Kashmir is totally disconnected from the rest of the world so far as uh, land route is concerned. So, this, this kind of devastation that mm. is seen as one of the biggest and the, uh, uh, the dubbed as one of the biggest uh, flash floods so far in the history of Kashmir. During the last 60 years, no one has seen such uh, such a massive of flood that has inundated Kashmir in such a manner. And right now, the Srinagar continues to face problems. Right. We have seen the communication lines have been disrupted. Even cellular network is not working because of which the pre people here are facing a lot of problems. And because right, of Pradeep. this reason, the rescue or relief operation is also becoming difficult. 